to, to be able to deal with it is to be able to articulate why you did what you did. So I'll tell you quickly so we can finish. The example I give is a situation that I had where I had to hit somebody, hold them and hit them again and again. And I tried to get away from this person and they pulled my sleeve as I got in my car. So clearly I tried to avoid, couldn't. They arrested my movement, do you understand? They rented my escape. My immediate response to being grabbed was to hit him. As soon as I hit him, his head snapped back and I grabbed him because I could see his head snap back. My thinking wasn't hit the cunt again, my thinking was don't let him hit his head. Because I did have presence of mind. As I pulled him and he kind of started to fall, I hit him one more time. Then I put him on the ground and controlled him much like you've seen here. I put him on his side to control him. In all cases I put you on the side, you notice that? I put you on the side and pin your head. Because that could also be construed as recovery position. Yeah. Even though it's not intentional, it yeah. looks like it. Yeah. And I get in my car and I fuck off. No sooner as I got home, the police are at my house. They took the CCTV index of my car and they've gone to where I live. Right? I got out of the car, I'm formally arrested. That's the procedure. We know that. Anyone involved in the situation, same here, right? I'm involved in an incident, you get arrested. I'm transported and interviewed, I'm polite and everything else. I get into the police station and the, the lawyer comes in to speak to me, giving a brief briefing. CPS want to speak to me to see if there's anything, if there's anything can be construed here to turn to evidence to put into court. First thing I get a heads up on, they know what you do. That's the first thing. Because nowadays, you can't Google, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you do. Do you know, I work at a counter-terrorism unit in Finland. And what surprised me is where they get their intel, their early intel. Yeah. They get their early intel, first of all, from Google. Then from Facebook and Twitter to look at your known associates, then they Google Earth, your house, <laughs> so they can see the, the entry points of your dwelling. Yeah. 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 That's available to you and me, that information. Mm -hmm. That's fucking scary, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's useful. Yeah, it's That's useful. why you don't give up your But there's pros and cons to the internet, isn't there? Yeah. Anyway, I knew who you knew. This CPS kind of service, Mr. Morrison's. Can you tell me what it is exactly that you do? Where do I go? I'm a postman. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to wash, is it? You know, I've been a postman, it's not going to wash. So I played low key I went, I'm a self defence instructor. And he went, oh yeah, and where do you teach? Oh, just at the local leisure centre. And he went, is it not in fact you're a leading authority in this field, Mr. Morrison? Like that, and I went, it's been said by others. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, my well, mum always said self praise was no praise, you know. <laughs> so I can't play it. <laughs> and then she, he goes, um, Well, you are a leading authority, and it's well known. And I put it to you that with your skill set, you didn't need to do what you did to my client who sat in the next room. Like that. So I immediately I thought about what he said, digested it for a few moments, and come back with, Well, you're right, you know, sir. It is, as you say, because of my skill set. But I only did what was necessary to your client sat in the next room, and no more. Because I had the presence of mind to control the situation, control my use of force and control my emotion. That's why he is, as you said, sat up next door as opposed to fucked up in hospital. And he went, yes, but you hit my client in the head. I said, clearly, look at your CCTV footage, which is what you've arrested me on. I said, he's pulled me out of my truck after I've tried to leave. He arrested my movement. Well, yes, I can see that, but you've hit him in the head. Why did you hit him in the head? I said, because he turned his body and obscured his hand. I had that moment of belief where it was reasonable to assume, rightfully, that my life was in danger because he's just about to access the weapon. Okay, so you've hit him in the head, but then you grabbed him. And then you proceeded to hit him in the head again. I said, I grabbed him because I had the presence of mind in the moment that was conscious for him not to fall and bang his head because that's how I know people die. So I wanted to control his descent. He didn't take that very well, so I hit him again and did what was necessary and no more to control the threat. I even put him in the recovery position. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, right, and then you did what? I said, then I left. You left, you fled the scene. I said, of course I did. I did what was necessary to create an escape, facilitate my escape and get gone. That's the civilian rules of engagement. Why did you get gone? I don't know, if he's got mates and they're coming nearby and they're armed, I didn't want to be there. But you should have phoned for an ambulance, shouldn't you? So you're telling me that as I'm driving away in my truck, I should have used my phone? I don't have hands free. And he's like, 
because we're not allowed to use yeah. that <laughs> And he's going, well, you could have you, you, you could have pulled over and made a call. I said, have you ever tried to make a call and get a reception in underground parking? I said, it's a fucking nightmare. And he's like, right, he's just getting tired of me, you know. <laughs> I said, so I just drove home. And when I drove home and I got home, I had the intention to call the police straight away. But you know what? All credit to your great police force. They were already waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> and he like, right, I see. I can see where this is going. And then he walked up. And then he come back, he didn't even come back, the solicitor would come back and goes, no, 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 no. Because I could articulate my <coughs> use of force, do you understand? And in the incident, it was reasonable. It was just fortunate I didn't volley his head like a football, because I would have done. That's my usual thing. <laughs> but I didn't, do you understand? My point is, anything you do, you have to explain why you did what you did. So learn the rules in the state of where you live, and pre-think, pre-rehearse, post-event communication to a police officer so you don't incriminate yourself. And the same in court. And the, the, the biggest thing for blokes, I find, when you say, look, were, were you scared at that stage? Oh, fuck, I wasn't scared. Yeah, like, the I mean, ego. they'd be the... It's the ego, and then don't... you go, well, if you weren't scared, well, clearly they yeah, weren't yeah, a threat. Yeah, then yeah. why did you play yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. the fuck out? Well, that's just you. Well, that's just you. That's right. Yeah, so the one thing that <laughs> most people will relate to, including a jury that has no understanding of the real threat, they'll understand fear. Yeah. That's some way in their life or another. Whether it's fear of loss, whether it's fear of interview, whether it's fear of whatever, they will understand, look, in that moment, I have the honest belief my life was in danger. I can't tell you what I did. I just lashed out. I was scared. That's it. You don't want to say, yeah, well, I maintain distance with a fence and then preemptively struck him in the jaw. That indicates you have presence of mind. Mm -hmm. This is premeditated. Yeah. You understand? You can have presence of mind in terms of control, stay. But don't look like a smart ass. You've got to say, look, I was fucking scared. Can you imagine how scared I was? I was isolated. I had the reality of, Christ, is this happening? I could start to feel denial kicking in. I was really scared, man. You know, and I just, just lashed out. I can't tell you what happened. That's, that's the way you've got to articulate it. Yeah. Play that scared shit. People can relate to that. Don't be the hero with it. Because chances aren't, but fuck, you were scared anyway. Yeah. Everybody feels the effects of the drama. Okay.